Hey there. Sorry I'm late. I had to wait for the sun to go all the way down. Didn't want to show up with a sunburn. I know, it's so nice to finally meet you in person. We've only been chatting for a little while, but I was excited. Hmm? What are you apologizing for? Low-key, that's not a bad thing. Honestly, a walk through the park is a perfect first date. I mean, for a human and a vampire, it can be kind of hard to plan these things. Like, I can't really eat at a restaurant, and you don't really get to know each other going to see a movie, and everything else is kind of daytime only. At least here we can talk and hang out, and the park's got lights, so you can see too. Shall we? <sighs> it's such a nice night out. So, how was your day? Hmm, work, work, work. If you're tired, I won't keep you up too late. At least it's Friday, right? Me? Oh, you know, I was sleeping. <laughs> I can tell you want to ask, so go ahead. Yes, I sleep in a coffin, but I don't have to spend all day every day in it in case you were curious. I know we might have trouble lining up our schedules, but I can make time during the day for you if need be. I wouldn't let something like that get in the way of a budding relationship. Uh, sorry if that sounds a little too forward. I know people that use the app tend to be more into casual stuff, but I've been looking for a companion for a while. Well, it's not like me to turn to online dating, but... It's kind of hard to meet people when you're only awake at night. Anyone else who's up is usually only awake for night shift work, so... Other vampires? Oh, yeah, I've got some friends, but... I'm looking for something a bit... more. And <laughs> you know how vampire men can be. You don't? Sorry, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing them. Some of them are really sweet, but we don't really have a lot in common besides being up all night. <laughs> blood tastes. Well, that's the thing. Male vampires don't drink blood. I know, common misconception, but only female vampires drink blood. The males drink... Uh, I guess you'd call it plant nectar? Like maple syrup and stuff like that. <sighs> yes, like mosquitoes, as much as I hate the comparison. But my bite doesn't itch, I swear. Yeah, I can see why you'd assume that I'd still have more in common with a vampire guy than a human. But vampire guys get... weird. Because they rely entirely on natural sources for their food, they... Well, I guess the best way to describe them is... They're like hippies? Super in tune with nature, always camping out in the woods, usually smell like weed. Yeah, that's what most of them are like. And I can't really blame them for being tree huggers, because that's what they eat, but... That doesn't match my lifestyle at all. Plus, plenty of them aren't even interested in dating. I know, right? Vampire men always get stereotyped as being seductive and all that, but there's hardly anything seductive about a guy who never gets any sun and vaguely talks about how nature is his only mistress if you try to ask him out. Like, if you're not interested, just say so, right? Anyway, I shouldn't be talking about other people. I'd much rather hear about you. Like, what made you want to go out with a big scary vampire? I didn't look all that scary in my pictures. Aw, you sweetie. But what if that was all part of my plan to get you alone? Whoa, that... <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to just say it. I mean, you really wouldn't mind if I... Bit you? <laughs> wow, um... Well, let's save that for another time, yeah? I mean, it kind of hurts if I don't take the proper steps, and I don't want to scare you off. 
I'd have to try harder than that. Oh, you are just too adorable. But no self-preservation instincts. Come here, hold my hand. Wouldn't want you getting scooped up by any passing dangers because you think they're pretty. <laughs> I could protect you from a werewolf, most certainly. But it looks like I'll have to keep you away from other vampires, too. A cutie like you who's not afraid of getting bit? I know a few vampires who'd be all too happy to steal you away. Just stay close to me for now, okay? I only wrote this script so I could use the idea of vampires, but it's like mosquitoes.